What's up, everybody? Zach with Z's Tees, back at it again. Um, here's a quick little collection tour of all the isopods I have. I have 18 different species. Um, just got a new phone the other day, the Galaxy S20 FE. Supposed to, supposed to have a really good camera, really good at taking macro shots especially. So I just wanted to test it out um, and actually got some really good shots. So here are my magic potions. They're one of the my favorite isopods in my collection. Um, so yeah, check it out. This is my PR Nottis High Yellow. That's another one I only got six individual ISOs. And out of 18 species I own, this is only one of two that I haven't had any babies yet. So I just had one die off the other day. Um. So I might be down to like six, five or six. So I am really, really hoping that I have babies at some point. These guys are really cool looking. Yeah, it's a uh, pure not as high yellow. My Porcelio Expansus, the Yellow Dragon Isopod. Had these guys for a little less than a year. Bought 11 of them. Haven't had any offspring yet. They're looking. Like they're getting pretty big though, so hoping in the next few months maybe. But I have had a couple deaths. Um, I had one like a month ago, and then I just noticed one now. So got my fingers crossed. These guys are a lot of money. All right, on to the next one. Alright, here are my Porcelio Hawkins Eggy. Let's see. Got a big old one right here. A couple right there. They're all kind of cohabitating together right now. In the wet area. So here's another really cool Arm Armadillidium species. Armadillidium gestroy. Um, is that a little baby down there? They got fucking mites in there though. Excuse my French. Oh yeah, there's some babies. Cool. Now that's new. Good. Uh, you get some more springtails in there. Porcelio species Morocco. Bunch of those. And then here are my Punta Canas. I have a gazillion of them. Alright. Here are my Armadillidium Perseas. Should be over here. 
everything's in the wet section. So what I've noticed in the summertime, they mostly congregate in, um, you know, under the cork bark. And then in the wintertime, because it's so dry, they'll just stick out, stick around in the, the wet area. So that probably means I need to keep this their enclosures a bit more moist. All right. All right, here are my Armadillidium maculatums, a zebra isopod. Another one that I really like. These guys in the clowns, I think are my favorites. Really, really cool. Got a bunch over here in the wet area. I just bought some more moss, so I'm gonna start putting more moss in their wet area just to keep the moisture up. All right, on to the next one. All right, here are my Armadillidium Klugi Montenegro. Your Clown isopods. There's a bunch of them with their babies. These are some of my favorites right here. Really cool. This is an odd looking one. More brown and white spots. Really neat. So yeah, these are my Dalmatians. Their enclosure must have dried out a bit, so they're all hanging in the wet side. cool isopod yeah those are your basic powder oranges and there's a little baby pop blue All right, these are my Porcilio Scaber Orange. Just orange scabers. Pretty neat. Kind of like a hobby staple. All right, here are my Armadillidium Orange Vigor cultures, culture that I have. These are growing to be some of my favorites. There's a lot of genetic variation within all the individuals. You get lighter oranges, dark reds, some red and orange splotches. Pretty cool looking. I got these guys outside of my house last summer. Pretty cool, just your basic black roly poly. 
They've had some offspring. I'm trying to find some for you, but uh, where they at? There you go. So this is a uh, enclosure of my T Wrath keys. And I'll include the name. Um, these are just some I caught outside last summer and uh, finally starting to get some babies. But as you can see, I got powder blues in there too. I gotta get those guys out. Before they start overtaking. Let's see. They're pretty cool looking. Yeah, that's a uh, T. Rathke. If I can get a little bit closer, kind of cool looking, like brown or brown and some greenish notes. Cool. All right, here are my Armadillidium granulatums. I only got six of these guys when I. This is like a secondary order. Um, and uh, the adults are pretty huge. Let me see if I can find a picture of an adult. There's a, look how big that is. Guy's a tank. And then last but not least, Another hobby staple, your dairy cows. These guys are ferocious. They um, they go through leaves like nothing. I'm constantly having having to refill their enclosure with new leaves and moss because they just eat and eat and eat. I would not want to put them in with any of uh, my reptiles because uh, I would not trust them in there. Well, yeah, guys, these are all my isopods that I have. Um, thanks for tuning in. If you make it all the way. Um, also, if any of you guys are interested in you know, possibly purchasing isopods, you know, maybe in the springtime or summertime 2021, hit me up. Um, you can just talk to me in the chat and then I can get a hold of you. Um, we could work something out. So I'm going to have a lot of excess isopods by the summertime. Anyways, guys, peace out.